Hey, so are you getting this error called Visual Voice Mail is currently unavailable? Network provider or voicemail on iPhone after the iOS 17 update. Hey there, this is Joy, and here are the four ultimate guidelines on how you can solve the voicemail is not working on your iPhone. If you really do want to solve the problem, first you have to start with the basic. First, just go ahead and enable airplane mode for about 20 to 30 seconds and go ahead and turn it back off. And quickly after that, just go ahead and open up your settings and then you want to just come back to your mobile service and then you want to select your mobile network and make sure you are actually enabling the network selection on your iPhone. Quickly after that, just go ahead and restart your iPhone and check whether your problem is solved or not. If you still have problems, then you have to open up your settings one more time, scroll down to your screen time, scroll down to content and privacy restrictions and make sure to disable the content and privacy restrictions. If it's enabled, disable that, get out of here, check your problem whether it works or not. If you still have problems where you can't really make the voice call, you have to do a little work there. Now, just go ahead and open up your iPhone settings, tap on Apple ID, tap iCloud, tap see all, and enable the contact option from here. Quickly after that, just get back here and then scroll down and open up the phone applications. So once you come over here and make sure you're actually enabling the Wi-Fi callings and also allow calls on other device, get back here. And now you would just want to do one last thing's work. Just now last, all you got to do, just get back here and open up your um, general on your iPhone, scroll down and tap transfer and reset iPhone, tap reset and select reset network settings. Now, if your SIM allows you to have the voice call on your iPhone, then it will start to work automatically. However, if that doesn't work, then I would recommend you guys to do to simply change your SIM card and see what happens. So these are the quick things that you guys can do to solve your problems. If you still have problems, please do let me know in the comment section to get further help. See you all around.